Well, good evening, Southeast Texas. Nice to see some scattered and numerous showers and thunderstorms as expected across Southeast Texas today. We expect more for your Thursday. Could see some one to two inch rains again in spots. Now, some areas didn't see rain. If you didn't, you'll have another chance coming up Thursday and it's slowly drying as we head into the weekend. A weak front due in Sunday that allows some drier air to work in next week. Some improvement in the allergy forecast today. The weed, grass and mold down a little bit and your rain coverages. The next 10 days still a good one tomorrow. 70% of the area will see some rain still a solid 40% coverage on Friday. So a little bit less and then we'll dive on down as we head into the weekend and next week. We'll see some drier weather, but the good news is we're expecting an additional one to two inches of rain between now and late Saturday. Now these amounts will vary a little bit. We're not going to exactly see 1.3 in Beaumont. Just an indication that one to two inches will be possible in spots over the next couple of days due to a series of upper level disturbances coming in from the west. The little purple colors you see there. Those are upper level disturbances coming in. Those interacting with increased moisture and that weak front over the area will give us a chance of rain each day. Then the main trough moves through Sunday and that will allow some drier weather to work in. Hurricane Lee, well, it's going to be a problem, unfortunately, for parts of the northeast, especially around Maine, on up, up into Nova Scotia. Uh, winds 105 miles an hour, some gusts to 125 as it moves on off to the north northwest, around 10 miles an hour. The future track takes it on on through the Atlantic, well off the eastern seaboard, but even places like New England, you're going to get quite a bit of wind and rain coming up over the weekend into the early part of next week. And notice the clustering of computer models here really clustering in on eastern Maine and just offshore. So I mean, a lot of wind and rain, kind of miserable weather up in the northeast coming up by the weekend into early next week. Future cast, the storms we've have now be winding down. Looks pretty quiet overnight toward morning. We'll start seeing a few develop to our southwest and off to our northwest again, kind of merging and moving over the area. So I think we'll see a better coverage actually tomorrow than what we saw today. That's great news and even more good news. That may keep temperatures in the 80s for highs tomorrow in southeast Texas. That's nice. Then things will wind down again tomorrow evening and then some more scattered storms, although a less coverage expected on Friday. Marine forecast, these are run around two feet. Northeast east winds up to about 10 knots, water temperature 86. 40% for the next hour or so, and that's going to be about it. Things winding down across southeast Texas tonight. It will be in the mid 80s tomorrow with a 70 to 80 percent coverage showers and thunderstorms still scattered storms at 40 percent on Friday still 30 percent Saturday so at least that's still a chance of a few but nothing like what we'll see tomorrow and drying trend into next week still 10 percent that's mainly early Sunday I don't think we're going to see much on Sunday dry air starts coming in maybe an isolated shower Tuesday although the air is going to be pretty dry and it looks dry after that with lows in the upper 60s to low 70s and highs in the 90s. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter as well, and be sure anything weather 24 hours a day, log on to 12newsnow.com and don't forget to download that app. You can watch newscasts, go back and watch newscasts. You can watch them live and all your weather information as well on our rain chances the next few days.